Let's talk reads. Van Doren, Rico, Lavaz, Rigotti, and the new kid on the block getting all the hype. Boston Sack Shop. Nice job, Jack. Coming right up. Hey everybody, Chris G here, Positively Progressing. Thank you so much for tuning in and for your continued watching habits. 2,922 subscribers. I can't thank you all enough. We're getting close to that 3,000 mark. I just want to let you know I have a giveaway going on. To be entered in the giveaway, all you have to do is follow me on Instagram and I'll put your name into the drawing. If you already follow me on Instagram, send me a message on IG. This is one of the new shirts. You'll get to pick whichever one you'd like. Ah, sick, red, awesome. Ah. I wanted to quickly mention that Hey, I wrote my first ebook. It's the complete diminished guide. It is a step-by-step -step guide teaching you what the diminished scale is, how to build it, where to use it, how to resolve it, and everything in between. It's a book that I wish I would have had 10 or 20 years ago because the diminished scale can be very confusing. So I decided to write a book on it. It's got a bunch of extra goodies with it when you purchase the book, so I think it's a great value. But we're gonna be talking about reads today. Read talk. Right on. This is not going to be a read review. I'm not reviewing any reads at all. Whatever reads you do use, you can continue to use those. I have no judgment of what reads you use. But I do want to mention, I have tried the new Boston Sack Shop reads. For me, they live up to the hype. The Boston Sack Shop reads are pretty awesome. But this is not endorsed by Boston Sack Shop. This is not endorsed by anybody. This is my way of showing you how to store reads how to get all of your reads, no matter what you use, to play better, and wait for it, to play longer. Much, much longer. Let's dive into it. So I learned this about a year ago at the Inside Outside Retreat. Bob Franceschini and a bunch of guys at the camp, they were already hip to this technique and I saw it and I asked some people about it. So I decided to give it a try. I live in Southern California, so it's super, super dry down here. And I had a hard time keeping the reeds moist. I tried those little containers that you put stuff in with the, you know, the, the wet foam and stuff. It, it just didn't work for me. And so I decided to give this a try. So here it is. This is a Wits case, W-I-T-Z, Wits, Wits, I don't know how to say it, but I do know how to spell it, W-I-T-Z. And I'll put links below to everything that's in this video so you don't have to go searching around. These are just some of my daughter's hair ties. When I travel, I just wrap them up like that so this little flap doesn't come up so my you know, stuff doesn't spill out and my reads don't get all over the place. So anyways, this fully seals, no leakage, um, pretty awesome. It's, I think it's like a sports case. You can, if you want to go take this on a trip, you can put like money and credit cards in here and it won't get wet if you go on scuba diving or something. I don't know, <laughs> whatever, whatever you're doing on vacation. Well, we're not going on vacation these days, but let's not talk about that. So this is, this is a large case. Uh, we'll hold tenor reeds. It will hold bass clarinet reeds. I believe it'll hold berry reeds, but if anybody, I don't play berry, but if um, anybody knows can comment below, they might have an extra large case um, that, that berry reeds would fit in. But this fits, let's see how many reeds this fits. This isn't even full. Can you see that? One, two, three, four, five, six. I have seven reeds in here right now. I have seven in here and I put them so the back side of the reed or the, the thicker side is, is down. That's the, that's the side that I soak and then I play every day. So when I get done with a reed, I just put it in the back like that. I didn't play this reed today. So I played, I already, after I get done practicing, I put it to the back and then they just get rotated just like that. That's my rotation schedule. Now, you know, my reed rotation schedule. So it's that, it's that simple. So what goes inside of here? Boom, this mouthwash. I choose to use Listerine Naturals. Ooh, healthier gums. But the reason why I picked it is because it's clear. I made the mistake, unfortunately, of soak my reed in peppermint mouthwash, that's blue, and it turned my reeds blue-ish green, and then turned my mouth and lips bluish green, and it stayed like that for like hours. So I'm not the smartest. Hey, we're all human. I'm, tr I'm trying to help you not make mistakes that I've already made. Get the clear one, 
I'll put a link to that below as well. It works fabulously. So one of the things I do that you should do, you should rinse these. So what I do twice a week is usually every like two or three days, I just go inside, dump this down the sink, rinse, rinse everything off, and then I refill it up. I usually fill the liquids like right around this part. You don't wanna fill it too high because you don't want your mouthwash spilling all over the place. Luckily, I have tip, tipped this over, but luckily this thing stays completely sealed no matter what. Um, so if you knock it over and it's clasped, you don't have anything to worry about, no mess to clean up. I would have made a bunch of messes. So yeah, this, is, this, has, been, this has been absolutely fantastic for me. I've been able to get, there's probably like reeds in here. One of the reeds in there is probably from last year and it still plays. I'm not kidding, it still plays. It's unbelievable. So if you're struggling to find reeds, try this method. Try the wits case, try the mouthwash, use them together and see what happens. Worst case scenario, it doesn't work and you're just back doing what you're doing. Best case scenario, you found the best way to store and play your play reeds for a really long time and your money is going way, way further with reeds versus throwing that money out the window like every month because you're just blowing through reeds like it's like, you know, like they grow on trees. Technically, they do grow on trees, but not you get what I'm saying. Reads can add up. Cha-ching. Honestly, I'm not endorsed by Boston Sack Shop, but the hype is real. I tried them out, I play on them now. They are amazing, and I haven't had a bad one yet. If you wanna grab a box of those, grab a box of those, use this method. You'll probably have five to 10 good playing reads, depending on like what size box you get for probably a year. It's worth the money to have great reads like that. So yeah, try this out. I'll leave the links below. That's it for Read Talk, positively progressing Read Talk. I hope it was stimulating for your brain. Hope you enjoyed it. So until next time, always positive, always progressing. I'll talk to you soon. Later. If you wanna buy a box of Boston Shack, uh, if you wanna buy a box, yeah, say that 10 times fast, Boston Sack Shop Reads. Jesus. Bye.